Good morning, and welcome to today's celebration of Holy Mass. We are very thankful to have our bishop, the Most Reverend Louis Kinneman, here to celebrate today's Mass in our Junior Ring Ceremony, along with De Deacon David Allen. Welcome to Sacred Heart Catholic School. We would also like to welcome our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Mike Ladner, as well as other staff members from the Diocese of Biloxi. We hope you enjoy your day here at the Heart. We are thankful for our parents, family members, and friends who are joining us this morning for the celebration. Thank you for being a part of this special occasion. Our gathering song is Christ Be Our Light, found in our worshiping aid. Please stand and join us in singing. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Light for the world to see. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. Well, we offer this Mass especially for our juniors, for each of you, uh, that God's love will touch your heart in a special way, and especially as you receive the mementos and your uh, senior rings, I think, at the same time. So God's love is with you today. We pray for you. Uh, and coming together now as a community of faith, uh, believing in Jesus Christ and believing in his love, we are gathered together to acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. And you plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Let's listen to God's words. A reading from the book of Hebrews. Jesus is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he lives forever to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. He has no need, as did the high priest, to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins, 
and then for those of his people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints men subject to weakness to be high priest, but the word of the oath, which was taken after the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The main point of what has been said is this. We have such a high priest who has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle that the Lord, not man, set up. Now every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices, thus the necessity for this one also to have something to offer. If then he were on earth, he would not be a priest. Since there are those who offer gifts according to the law, they worship in a copy and shadow of the heavenly sanctuary, as Moses was warned when he was about to erect the tabernacle. For God says, see that you make everything according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. Now he has obtained so much more excellent a ministry as he is a mediator of a better covenant enacted on better promises. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burn offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, behold, I come. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announce your justice. Oh, wait, sorry. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me to do your will. O oh, my God is my delight, and your law is it within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice and vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O oh Lord, know. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. May all who seek you exult and be glad in you. And may those who love your salvation say ever, the Lord be glorified. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. be with you with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you O lord jesus withdrew toward the sea with his disciples a large number of people followed him from galilee and returned and from judah judea hearing what he was doing a large number of people came to him also from jerusalem from udim Ud Iduma, and from beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Sidon. He told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so that they would not crush him. He had cured many, and as a result, those who had diseases were pressing upon him to touch him. And whenever unclean spirits saw him, they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God. He warned them sternly not to make him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to sing the Alleluia during the homily.
may be seated. So we're going to sing the Alleluia during the homily. Let me turn off one of these mics. Hold on. Okay, I think that'll do it. So, here we go. Alleluia. sing that through the homily as we go and I'll let you know when it hits okay so we are gathered here <clears throat> excuse me uh, in love and it's the love of Jesus Christ that draws us to this church to this mass to this ring ceremony and in a very special way we heard in the letter to the Hebrews who Jesus is, and it really is profound. He is the one who has given his life for us. Now, why did he do that? Because of the sinfulness of the world. All we have to do is look around and we can see the war in Ukraine, the war in Ethiopia, the war in Sudan, disease, violence, all of that facing us. And Jesus, also knowing our own personal sin, gave his life for us, and so we sing. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Now we're going to keep singing that until I see everyone's mouths moving, okay? Because the Lord does want to hear that prayer of Alleluia. So Jesus coming among us, and Jesus revealing to us God's love through the wonderful miracles he performed, Jesus literally healing people, touching them and calling them to faith is the same Jesus that calls us to faith too. And he's the one who said, I love you so much that I'm willing to give my life for you, and I mean that personally, for me and for you. And that gift is his gift to us. By dying on the cross, he said to us, there's nothing that I will not suffer for you to bring you salvation, to bring you healing, to bring you peace, and also, of course, rising from the dead to, share, to say to us, death has no more power over us, and so we sing. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. And so with the life and death and resurrection of Jesus, we have a gift given to us. Now, Jesus, knew, knowing what was going to happen, also gave us another special gift of himself. And that's at the Last Supper. That's why we're gathered around this altar right now. And it's really reminiscing the gospel today of him feeding all of those people, the whole church, him feeding each and every one of us with his love. And he promised us that when we ask him, in terms of being a part of us as the bread and the wine, he promised that it would change into his body and his blood. Now, that is a miracle, and that's also a statement of his love. And so we sing. Alleluia, alleluia. So why did he give us this moment of his body and his blood to give it to us? 
because he knew what we would be facing after he died on the cross, especially as he died on the cross. And when he rose from the dead and in our faith ascended to the Father and then gave us the Holy Spirit. It's that spirit of Jesus that comes upon the bread and the wine. It's that spirit of Jesus that changes it into his body and blood. And that is the gift of his grace for each of us. So no matter what we're facing, both individually, whether it's at home or with our relationships or with school, whatever it may be, this is what he gives us to lift us up in his love. It's also a statement to the whole world. The power of this moment, the grace that flows out, is really meant to bring an end to all wars, to all disease, to all problems that we have. That's what it's meant for. And so we sing. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. So this moment is meant for us to take it in. So for those of us that are able to receive communion, it's a moment of experience his body and his blood in our body and our blood. For those that come up, though, that wish a communion prayer, it's a moment also to open your heart to his love and let his love truly bless your heart and bless your life because our work is not finished here as we pray. The work is meant to go out. Because not only did he say to us, love God with our whole heart and soul and mind and strength, he said, love your neighbor as yourself. So juniors especially, as your parents or your grandparents or your guardians are here, love on them right after this mass. Give them a hug. Give them a kiss and say, thank you. Thank you for helping me to attend Sacred Heart School, but also thank you for sharing the love of Jesus Christ. And to the rest of us, that actually is meant for us too. So if your husband or wife is here, if your family members are here, and to all our other classmates when you go home, that's really the message. We take this moment of the Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ, home. That's what brings the change in the world that Jesus has asked to happen, that the love of his love will permeate everything, will go through everything, and will bring peace to the entire world. We pray for that as we sing. Alleluia. We lift up all of our prayers and petitions to our loving God, knowing that God hears and answers each of them. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Lewis, our bishop, and all of our priests and deacons, that they may serve the church in the spirit and name of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that God would bless our world with peace, inspire government leaders to heal divisions, to end bloodshed, and protect 
the least among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for a greater respect of human life. May every person deeply honor and appreciate the great gift of life from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our blessings upon all of the students in our junior class. May they be filled with wisdom and courage as they approach their senior year and all of the important life decisions that they will face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick, dying, or grieving, for those who we need to forgive and who seek forgiveness. May faith and love be our guide and support through difficult times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our beloved deceased family members and for our friends and for every person we tenderly cherish and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear our prayers. And as we hear the invitation of Jesus to be around his table, the table of the Lord, may we open our hearts to his love and be filled with that love so that we may go forth to be his witnesses, his disciples. For Jesus truly lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We'll be seated for the preparation of the gifts. Our offertory song is Open My Eyes, found on your song sheet. Please join in singing. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. And by the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. Offer each other a sign. Lamb of God. Behold. The Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. To begin our ceremony, Stella Bondron, our junior class president, will address the class. Stella. On behalf of the junior class, I wanted to thank everyone for coming to share this special tradition with us, especially Ms. Charles, Bishop Kinneman, Ms. Bellapani, Father Tomash, and Father Ken, and your commitment to helping us become intentional disciples and in growing our faith. I'm surprised we made it this far. I'm sure some of our seventh and eighth grade teachers are too. Our class always stuck out because we are the smallest class in the high school. There are only 34 of us but I would like to argue with the seniors that we are the closest. Most of us have known each other since we were four years old. We grew up together. I would consider every single one of my classmates my family. And those who came to Sacred Heart later are welcomed into our family just the same. Getting in trouble for laughing at each other and acting up was what our grade was notorious for, but I really hope we outgrew that reputation. Even though at times we still have our moments, our teachers understand now that it's because we are so close. It feels like we were in seventh grade yesterday, but time really does fly by when you're having fun. We are growing up. Half of us are going to be able to vote by the end of 2023, and I still can't believe that we we're able to drive. And for the lower classmen, I know it seems like it's taking forever, but you will be in our position sooner than later. These are some of the most memorable years of our lives, it may not seem like it right now, but I promise they are. We still have plenty of memories to make together, but we will never forget the ones we have already made. We're almost there. Not quite there yet, but almost. I just want to remind everyone that we only have a year and a half left together at Sacred Heart. Let's make the most of it. Don't waste it worrying about things that do not matter because it will be over before we know it. So let's keep that in mind as we finish our junior year and go into senior year. It feels weird to say out loud that we're about to be seniors, but I'm beyond proud of how far we have come, and I know this next year will be the best of all of them. I can't wait to spend it with you guys. Thank you, Stella. prayer blessing of these mementos. Father and creator of all, from the beginning of time, you have given us symbols 
that speak to us of your love for us. As we bless these mementos, remind those who wear them each and every day of your love for them. Be their constant support and encouragement, and especially on their journey of life. Let their commitment and their dedication in their final years at Sacred Heart Catholic High School be their visible pledge and promise to live their lives centered in you and in service to their sisters and brothers. Bless these mementos. And all those who will use them or wear them and bless us who will benefit from the lives of, of our sisters and brothers today who will receive these rings and these mementos. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. God's blessing come upon these mementos and all of our juniors, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will present these items in three groups. The juniors will come for, forward for, first, followed by their parents. At this time, we'll have our first group of juniors come forward. Parents, come forward. Parents will present rings and other items as they say the statement together from the card. You may present your memento. You may be seated. At this time, we'll have our second group of juniors come forward. Parents, come forward.
You may present your memento. You may be seated. At this time, we'll have our third group of juniors come forward. Parents come forward. You may present your mementos. You may be seated. Congratulations, juniors. May you cherish the items you received today, and may they always be a sign of your journey through the halls of Sacred Heart. Let's stand and sing our school's alma mater to celebrate our unity with all those who have walked the same halls here at Sacred Heart for more than 120 years.
So congratulations, juniors, and I look forward to spending the day with the whole school and visiting with you. Uh, we do have some of my staff here that will also be speaking with you. Uh, so Dr. Ladner, if you will wave at them so they know who you are. Catherine, if you'll wave. Uh, Ray Lacey, our youth minister, if you'll wave. Juliana, if you'll wave. What a wave that is, right? <laughs> and then uh, Deacon Allen is to my left. Uh, he's also on the staff. And then Deacon Calvin is one of my deacons, so he's on my staff no matter where he goes. He's always with me. I think we're taking a class photo after this, so we're going to uh, have the final blessing, the final hymn, and then I think you're going to meet me back. Or I think it's clear enough outside, is it? We have a presentation. Ah, okay, we'll pause. That's pretty. Here at Sacred Heart, we're very blessed Amazing. with a very talented artist, Miss Shanna Britt, um, who did this painting for the bishop. And I have Ann Catherine Bullock and Sophie Bell to present to you with a gift, Bishop Kinneman. Beautiful. Thank you. That's beautiful. Come here, girl. Come. Step towards them. You can tell who's in control right here. Thank you, girls. All right, deacons. Beautiful. Thank you for the gift. Very good. So, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth song is City of God. Please join in singing. Mm -hmm. 